So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again. And today I'd like uh, to do another review video. And specifically, I'd like to show you an interesting new accessory, which is available for the Stellar One microscope. Um, I've already made a review video about this microscope some time ago, but today I'd like to show you something and maybe you've already noticed it. Look, uh, is there anything different on this microscope? Well, maybe you have already seen, well, there is now a small mirror down here. And this mirror is uh, available as an accessory now and can now be used uh, instead uh, of uh, the LED. Um, yeah, so I have uh, done the following. I have removed uh, the yeah the cap here. There's a lens included uh, to focus uh, the light of the LED and replaced it um, with uh, the mirror. And uh, today in this video, I'd like to have a closer look at this mirror and I'd like to also show you um, yeah some possibilities on how you can use uh, this mirror here. I also want to mention here right now that I got the mirror um, free of charge from the company but I'm not getting paid uh, anything for this review and I'm free to say anything uh, that I want uh, to say about the mirror here. Uh, just uh, a short uh, disclaimer here. And at the end of the video, I'd also like uh, to talk a little bit about uh, why uh, would you actually want to attach a mirror to a microscope, even though the microscope already has an LED. Um, so that's another interesting thing that I'd like to talk about. But first, uh, I'd like uh, to have a closer look uh, at the mirror. And we're going to start uh, by having a look at it in close-up. So now let's have a look um, at the material out of which uh, the mirror is made. Uh, the mirror is uh, constructed fully out of metal, that's a pretty good thing. And the engineering is, appears to be pretty precise uh, and I'm quite satisfied with high quality of engineering here. There is one mirror on each side. Um, one mirror is uh, completely flat and the other one is concave, so it means it's bent inwards. And uh, this uh, is because uh, this concave shape bundles the light as uh, just like the lens of a condenser does. The mirror can be rotated smoothly because uh, there are also two Teflon discs. Um, these are the white little discs here. And those discs, uh, they slide past each other. And this way, the nut that holds the mirror in place, uh, this uh, nut cannot come off due to the rotation. Mounting the mirror only takes a minute or so. It's uh, quite easy. You first have to remove the plastic cover of the lamp. This one also contains uh, a little lens. And then you have to screw in the mirror. And then we're ready to go. Now I put also an algae specimen under the microscope to illustrate how twisting and turning the mirror, how this affects the light intensity. Here I'm using a flashlight as a light source and by rotating the mirror, you can um, adjust the brightness uh, of uh, the image because uh, if the mirror is rotated away, then less light is uh, reflected uh, into uh, on the specimen. And the concave mirror uh, focuses the light a little bit more than therefore the image is also a little bit brighter, but I did not see a huge difference but there is a small difference. Yes okay why would you uh, now attach a mirror to uh, a microscope? Uh, well is not an LED already enough? Well um, well, <laughs> the easiest answer would be we as hobby microscopists we of course like to experiment around a little bit at least some of us like to do that and uh, because it's a hobby uh, the mirror gives an additional option uh, to light the specimen. Um, for people who are more in, into education and maybe who use uh, the microscope uh, in an educational setting of course it's uh, then makes the microscope more independent of a power supply and also it makes it of course more portable for example if you want to set it up uh, in the field somewhere where there is no power supply. However I also have to say that uh, the microscope does allow you to connect uh, a battery here um, so it is portable already um, so this is um, actually one of the nice features of this microscope battery works as well. So, but besides that, uh, what are some other possibilities or options? Well, first of all, um, an, uh, a mirror does allow you to use a more high, highly intense light. Um, so if you have an external light source or maybe a very strong flashlight, uh, then of course uh, this means that you have a much more light available, for example, for a photography work or for video, where you can always, uh, yeah, you always use more light. Yeah? So this is uh, one advantage. And the second advantage of using a mirror, and 
is is that you're now able to also use a light of a different color. So there are certain flashlights that have colored LEDs um, and uh, by using those you're also now able uh, to change uh, the color around and what I would like to do in the future, I've not tried it out yet, but I'd like to for example use ultraviolet light and I would like to see if it's not impossible to actually use this then as a fluorescent microscope when you use an UV flashlight for example and then maybe it's possible um, to make some structures visible that uh, could not be seen otherwise. Now uh, I think uh, that uh, the mirror is a very interesting uh, new feature which cannot be found in many other microscopes. Usually um, you find mirrors in toy microscopes or very basic uh, introductory microscopes but not on better microscopes like the Stellar One. So I think uh, in that sense uh, a mirror um, is an interesting addition here that uh, extends uh, the yeah, usability of the microscope in certain conditions. Um, I also have to say that you have to be careful do not uh, point the mirror directly at the sunlight. The it's really important, of course, um, as well. Well, uh, I'm going to, I think, leave it at that uh, for right now. I hope uh, that this uh, short review video, it was informative for you as soon as the mirror becomes available. And um, then I will put a link uh, into the description below um, yeah, for you to have a closer look at it. But for right now, um, I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.